All right, before we get started, um, I'm doing this video in my car and it's raining heavily out, so I hope you don't hear it. It's probably not the best idea to be doing this in my car, but I am very busy over the past couple of days since this update's been out. I haven't been able to make a video and I don't see it happening anytime soon. I'd rather get this out sooner than later. So I have about half an hour before I have to go to work. So I'm just sitting in my parking lot at my job and I'm going to make this video real quick. So anyways, let's get it. We have an Omicron now for Omega. Personally, not excited about that at all. I don't care. I don't use Omicron. I mean, uh, Omega. I think she's the basic marquee three stars still. So like this does no good to me. But for people who have worked on her and beefed her up some, let's see what this is about. So it says, hey, Hall Table Heroes, today's update adds an Omicron ability tier to Omega's kit. Omega has a new Omicron tier added to her part of the squad unique ability, which boosts bad, booch, uh, wow, bad batch allies in territory battles and should especially help in taking down the pesky reek. So this is, yeah, territory battles. <laughs> it just said that, and I'm like, oh, this should be for territory battles, right? I'm thinking that in my head. Yeah, it just said that, idiot. <laughs> This upgrade provides Bad Batch allies with extra sustainability through additional max health, bonus protection at the start of encounter, and reduced damage from percent health effects. Omega will also deal damage more times with her basic ability, bursting through droid battalion stacks, and increasing the overall damage output for the team. This new ability tier for Omega is available for upgrade with the Omicron material now. Now. So let's get better details on that because that's always just like a generic overview. Let's find her wherever the F she is. <laughs> Way down here. Not really worked on at all. Where are you? Oh, there she is. Oh, wow. I have her at five stars? Holy crap. I didn't realize I worked on her so much. <laughs> this is a girl, right? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, part of the squad get the full details it's a bit blurry but you'll get the idea while in territory battles not the best but it's better than territory wars obviously grand arena is the best option but we'll take it but territory battles at the start of battle all bad batch allies gain max health equal to 10 percent of their max protection that's silly for each of their own relic amplifier levels oh it says max 100 percent. we don't have 10 relics are they implying there's going to be a 10th relic coming out soon because 10 times 9 is only 90. So how would you have max 100%? Hmm. Anyhow. Um, that's kind of like what they do with uh, Galactic Legends. They always have a, uh, uh, um, a boost based on the relic level they're at. So I'm not saying that that's going to make her GL stats. I'm just saying that's the same type of mechanic. Anyways, then they lose all protection. Oh. Well, that's crap. Wait, what? So they gain max health equal to 10% of their max protection, and then they lose it all, all their protection? So they actually start out with less overall health. I mean, yeah, when you heal up, you heal health, you don't heal protection, but like, if you have 100,000 protection, and say 70,000 health, that's 170,000 hit points total, where if you're only gaining 10% of your max protection, say you're at Relic 1, that would only be 10%. So 10% of 100,000 is 10,000. So now you only have 80,000 health. <laughs> you just lost, what, 90,000 overall hit points? That's kind of dumb. How, how is that supposed to make you better? Then they lose all protection. Bad Batch allies take reduced damage from percent health damage effects at the start of each encounter bad batch allies gain 10 percent bonus protection for two turns for each of omega omega's relic amplifier levels bad batch okay so at the start of each encounter they get 10 percent bonus protection but they lose all protection so what is actually happening there <laughs> are they gaining it before they lose it so then it turns into health or do they lose their actual protection and then gain 10 percent of her protection but then again, what if her protection's kind of low? What if you're only at like 80,000 protection for her? 10% of that is 8,000. So you had 100,000 protection on a character, say. Now they only have 8,000 protection and only 80,000 health when they had 70,000 health. What? This seems like terrible. Unless I'm misreading this, this seems really terrible. <laughs> Whenever Omega uses her basic ability, she deals damage again for each other Bad Batch ally, gaining 50... Dealing 50% less damage. Okay, that's decent-ish, especially if her offense is high enough. Uh, because for each other Bad Batch ally, so if you got a full squad, which you should, that's the only team that makes sense with her. Um, 
Yeah, that means she would go five times. She'd take her turn, and then once per each ally. And dealing 50% less damage, that's not bad. I mean, if she was hitting, I don't know what the damage would be. Say she's doing 20,000 on a hit. So 10,000, but times four, that's 40,000. So that's almost like two regular hits. So she does three regular hits. So that's not bad. But the rest, man, that, that health and protection manipulation, I don't know how I feel about that. They say that that's supposed to help you with the reek. It seems like it's hindering you. Like, if you kept your protection and gained health based on 10% of that protection and gained protection based on Omega's protection, then I could see, because that's a lot of health increase. But this sounds like you're getting a lot of HP decreases. I guess, though, the mechanic here would be to have your character's high relics, because that's when you'd have... It would kind of benefit you a little bit more. Like, say you're at Relic 7. Well, that would be 70% of your max protection. So back to my 100,000 example, that would be 70,000 health you're gaining. So if you had 70,000 health, now you got 140,000 health. Same as Omega. If she has enough protection, then when you gain that 10% from her, per Relic level, so if she's Relic level, you're gaining 70% of her max protection. But, I don't know, it still, it still is a loss when you're losing all of your base protection to go to health. I don't know. This is weird. Like, I like how it gives her the boosts for her attacks, and and uh, I don't like that it potentially has a, a hint at Relic 10 here, how you can do max 100%, but I don't know how I feel about this. This kind of seems crappy. <laughs> right? Bad Batch, at the start, all Bad Batch always gains max health equal to 10% of their max protection for each of their own yeah each of their own I was rereading that because I was thinking maybe it's per the group because if it was per the group's max collective uh, protection then okay that could be good because if you got five characters with a hundred thousand protection that's 500,000 protection and then if you're taking 10% of that well no that's still a loss because then that would be 50,000 health each that's still a loss though because now you're at half but that's if you're relic one I don't know Either I am way misreading this, or this is actually kind of terrible, and it's actually giving you less hit points, and I don't understand how this is supposed to be good for the reek and stuff, and territory battles, when you're starting with less, <laughs> less health. That's weird. Well, anyways, apparently that's her Omicron. Um, it's only cool at the very end, where she hit, hits more often, based on how many uh, allies she's got with her. And uh, otherwise, I don't know. But yeah, thanks for texting us out. Until next time, I said see ya.